Welcome to 303bigsale.com. If you watched my last video, it was me opening up the DJI Phantom drone for the very first time and kind of going through the pieces. And I was going to jump straight to the flight video, which I'm going to air tomorrow, but I thought maybe people might need help going through the assembly. I know watching something helps me a little more than just reading it from a manual. So I'm going to go through all the main points here of how to assemble the drone. So of course this is the main drone right here and the first thing you're going to want to do actually it isn't uh, to screw anything on it's actually you're going to want to connect the drone to your computer so you can download the software. So this is the front of the drone right here with the LED light that's how you know it's the front and the back part says battery okay so these two these wires back here you're going to want to pull those out and then you take this battery right over here and you're going to plug it in right into the back and it flashes all these crazy lights which I think would be awesome to take to Red Rocks during an electronic dance music festival might scare some people but I think it would be fun for people as well so you plug that in and then you take this cord right here. Let's see. Plug that into the back right over there. You see how that is? And then you plug this end into your computer. Okay, you just plug it in. I don't have a computer down here, obviously. I did it earlier. It's really easy. Okay, it's not very hard at all. So once you plug that in, then you have to download the software from the websites. So you can just Google Phantom One DJI, DJI software and it'll take you straight to the page and then you can download it. So that's pretty simple right over there. We'll turn this off right now. We don't want anyone getting a seizure. So taking that, there we go. So we'll put this stuff on the side. We don't really need that right now so it might get into the way. So once we've done that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your thing, your uh, drone is gonna be charged for when you take flight. So this is the charger, okay? This is the piece you're gonna want right over here. So we got a plus, we got a negative, red, red and black, okay? Plug that in, plug that in right there. And then you take this right over here. Okay, plug that in right there. All right. And then this is going to go in the electrical socket. And then you plug this guy in like that. If you guys see right over there. Okay, and then you take this piece right over here and you plug it into 3S. Okay, that says 3S. There's 2S, 3S, and 4S. Take that, plug it in. Okay, now I'm going to plug this bad boy in overnight, just a regular old outlet, and then you're good to go. So now that we got that part out of the way, we could put that on the side as well, okay? Put that stuff on the side. So now comes the fun part, which is screwing the landing gear on. Actually, you know what? We gotta do the propellers first, okay? So, certain propellers only go on certain areas, or on certain parts of it, so, Got to kind of, is that the right one? Nope. Let's try this one. So, just like that, make sure it's nice and tight. What I like to do, and I'll show you guys real quick up front. So, spin the this part instead of the propeller to make sure it's nice and tight, okay? So, like that. 
there we go just like that and then hold the propeller like that and nice and tight until it gives no more slack right there and then the propeller starts to move and then you've known you know you've uh, tightened it just enough same thing with this right over here might be the wrong one let's try this one No. There's the right one right there. So just test them out. Don't. I know when I was trying to screw it on earlier, I was really excited, kind of looking at it, and I thought I was doing it wrong. Just move it to the next one, and then you're good to go. So. And then we got a couple more. So that one's all good. trouble I was going the wrong way so make sure there's little things right over there that show you which way to go and you just follow those and you should be good so those are all nice and tight this is kind of what it looks with the propellers on so now we're gonna flip it over and if you look in the manual when it says the right side it's talking about as you're facing it to the camera right now so this is the right side and that's important because this is where the compass is located on this side so you're gonna want to take the landing gear with the compass on there and make sure it goes into the right area okay so this little thing needs to go through there maybe give it a little push And then it connects right there okay I'm not going to connect it right now because I don't want it to pull so we're just for the sake of time we're just going to do one screw in each area It should come with a whole bag of screws. If you don't get that, you're screwed, pun intended. All right, so then make sure that you plug it in correctly okay so it's got to be facing like that I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that but don't push on it too hard you don't want to get I get the feeling this is kind of built sturdy but at the same time sensitive at the same time so uh, just be careful so that's in right there just like that And then we're going to screw this part in.
there it is right there. So there it is fully assembled right over there. I'll step back so you guys can kind of take a look at it. Um, this is the GoPro mount right over here. You screw that in like sideways, which I'm not 100% sure how that works, but uh, I haven't put a GoPro in here, so maybe if you guys have some experience, you can shed some light on it, or I'll find out tomorrow either way. But that's the way it goes. I thought it was gonna go that way, but it goes in that way. And then that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you fully assemble it. Now I'm gonna disassemble it for you guys. So we can kinda go and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the propellers off first because I don't want to set them on the propellers and throw anything off. See, once you get the hang of it and you assemble it, it's like one of those things when you assemble it once, when you start taking it hiking or to like the park, it's gonna be really quick for you to just take apart really fast and put away. It's really light to handle. It can fit in your backpack. You might want to maybe get some like a protective case for the propellers and stuff like that and somewhere you can put the screws. But other than that, it seems like it's pretty easy to carry around. I wouldn't be surprised if pretty soon they made some sort of cases with it that you can take with you that are really convenient with it. And I mean, this is, this brings a lot to the table. I mean, Amazon is, is trying to make it like a delivery system with drones. Um, you can go hiking with it, you can do adventure photography, you can photograph wildlife and places that maybe you never have before. You can get closer to like a hornet's nest, I mean if you're into that, and get up close and personal with it and without the risk of, of getting stung. And I really just like the technology and you know we're at the very beginning of it, but I like the potential of what could come from this. And I think getting acquainted with a drone right now, sooner rather than later, will kind of help you long term because, like I said, the technology is going to get better. And some cool things are going to come from this. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's like kind of when, you know, like an iPad or an iPhone was released you didn't really exactly know what you needed it for and some people weren't sure but you can do a lot of cool things with it if, if you really just kind of put your mind to it and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from here so with that guys I appreciate you guys watching this is gonna be the end of the video if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below otherwise tomorrow you're gonna see some drone flying and hopefully I can take a drone selfie and post that on my Facebook and be the coolest guy on Facebook. All right guys, well I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.